Hey everybody, Mark Walters here, and in this video, I'm going to share with you some ways that you can get a massive amount of free publicity for your real estate investing business. Now, there's a few different layers here, so just bear with me. First of all, let's assume that you're buying houses and you're selling houses. You've got a buyer's list, or at least you're working on a buyer's list, so that when you get a property to sell, you can send out an email and people are interested in what it is you're trying to sell. Okay, that's layer number one. Now, what if you were to give away something that has a high perceived value when someone buys one of these properties from you? So you're going to have a big contest, let's say. And let's just say a lot of people are going to want to buy this house because guess what? You're also throwing in something of high perceived value. Now, what would that be? It could be a car. It could be a boat. It could be jewelry. But certainly a car and a boat is going to be uh, pretty exciting for people. So let's just narrow it down. Let's say it's a car. So you're saying, Mark, a car, that costs a lot of money, right? Well, if you're buying things retail, it does. But you know, there are a lot of people out there that are hurting for cash that would love to sell you something that has high perceived value that you can do exactly this with. And a car is one of those things. Okay, there's another layer for you. Now, before you go out and you do something like this, what you would, uh, you're going to want to do is start building relationships with the local press in your area. We're talking radio, we're talking newspapers, and we're talking television. And you're saying, well, how do I go about doing that? Well, you send them press releases. You let them start to get to know what it is that you're doing. You know, you're saving people. You're saving sellers. You're saving buyers. You're getting people out of houses that they, they uh, are having a hard time with, and you're getting people... Uh, into a house when they need it. Okay, so that's what you're doing, but you're also giving away a car. You know, this is kind of like, if you think about it, um, extreme home makeover where they throw in a car, you know, a great big uh, Ford type of a, you know, vehicle. Well, what you're doing is the same type of thing. You're helping people out and you can kind of angle it like that. Now, once you start building relationships with these people, because they're all looking for story ideas, okay, you're doing them a service by letting them know what you're up to in case they're interested in uh, promoting it. Now, another thing that you might want to do is, look, I've got a car that I'm going to be giving away to someone who buys this house. Now, if you've got a buyer's list and you're letting them know, look, this is the price of the house. Everybody wants it. If you want to be one of the people that wants it as well and get the car, then submit your offer. So you've got a lot of different offers and then you can choose one. So here's the next layer. You can be contacting these people in the press media, letting them know, I want to let you pick who the winner's going to be. Now, obviously, you're not going to just send this out to everybody in the press, but once you start getting someone's ear, you can say, look, I want you to be the one that picks it. So do you think that they might be interested in doing a story if they're a part of that story in that respect? It could be a, a fun angle. Now, is every person in the press going to say, yeah, I'm interested in that? No, but you wait until the one that does, and then you start acting upon it. So it's not like you bought the house, you bought the car, and it's like, this is the house I'm giving the car away with, and Boy, I sure hope I can get some press on this. No, work backwards. Start letting the press know what you're doing. Find someone who's going to pick uh, a winner and then go backwards. Get the car, get the house. I'm assuming that you've got some buyers. That can be a really good thing. Now, these are a few different layers. I'm going to add another layer here. Once they do a story on you, then you've got something to promote to all the other media. Hey, this is me again. Remember when I told you about the house that I was uh, going to be selling and I was going to be giving a car away? Well, here's the story on it. It was fantastic. Okay, so that way they know that you're a real player. So the next time you do something fun like this, they're going to take you more seriously. Anytime you want free publicity, you're going to mention this because you're the person that saves families and also throws in a car or a boat or certain things like this. Now, I never let just one little piece of publicity go thinking that's it. So you've done a few different things here. You've gotten some stories. So once it happens, then you're going to contact these people saying, if you'd like to do a follow-up story on this, I'd be more than happy to share what it, what it is because they're going to want to do that. You know, it could be that they maybe wanted to cover it originally, but had some other uh, press going on during that time. But follow up with them. All right. Now, at the same time, have somebody with a video camera videotaping all of this. If you're getting press over so that they can pick a winner, videotape that. Interview them in a way. You know, ask them why this is so exciting, what their feelings are. Well, I think it's great. I work for this publication. I never heard of anything like this. this is fantastic. The person that wins it, interview them. So you're doing your own story. Why are you doing that? Well, when you do these kinds of things, whatever stories the press is creating, put it on your website. Put it in your press kit. Anytime you're doing anything in the future, add it. And then also the story that you're doing, again, because we don't know how good the press is going to do on this story, but you can do great. 
So you can share, you can spin it any way you want, and that way you add to this whole story on your website and on your marketing. And you just start that snowball. So you might want to do it again and again. And by the time you start rolling, guess what's going to happen? You're going to have potentially hundreds of thousands of dollars in free publicity on the radio, on the newspaper, uh, on the television. You know, I was able to get my business mentioned by Jay Leno on The Tonight Show. I was able to get my favorite charity mentioned on Conan O'Brien when he had his own show on uh, NBC as well. And I was able to do both those things within days, thinking outside of the box uh, in a marketing way. It's a lot of fun. It's going to get people to notice you. You will be special. You'll potentially do more deals. And that's what it's all about. I'm Mark Walters, and I look forward to sharing more with you very soon.